Hi, welcome back to EU TV. I'm Ioni and we're here today at McEwen Hall in Edinburgh where there's a protest calling for the resignation of the Vice Chancellor of the University, Peter Matteson. Who are you here with today and why are you here? Yeah, hi, I'm here with the Staff Student Solidarity Network and we're calling for Peter Matheson to resign um, because over the last few years he has kind of proven over and over again um, that he is failing at his job, that students students are failing to see proper mental health supports, there are students who are going homeless because they f can't find a place to live while the university is the biggest landlord in the city. Um, you know, staff are still facing problems, the people and money fiasco, where, you know, people literally didn't get paid for their work and labs lost equipment. And he keeps failing at running this university properly. Um, and we're disappointed. And we, we, we want to make it heard that we're disappointed in him and we think that someone else could do the job better. Um, and if you could say one thing to Peter Matheson, what would you say to him? I mean, to resign. by His Majesty King Charles III for my outstanding services to higher education. Can you start by introducing yourself and why you're here today? Yeah, okay, so my name is Orla. Uh, I'm a member of Revolutionary Students, which is a student site on campus run by the International Marxist Tendency, of which I'm also a member. Um, we're here today because, you know, under uh, the leadership of Principal Matheson, um, conditions for staff and for students have worsened um, and he is kind of a figurehead that shows that the university is truly run for profit and not for um, the benefit of staff or students. And what do you think about the news yesterday that the strikes are going to be put on hold for two weeks mm. while talks are being held? I mean, I think that it's, it's a complicated question. I think there's a lot of internal politics to do with the union that I think will become clearer um, as you know the news spreads and the membership um, is able to decide. I think that any movement towards a negotiation as towards a successful negotiation is good but equally i think that um, it should be decided through the full democratic process of the ucu um, it's not clear so far whether it has or not again that will become clearer um, and i think regardless of you know it's 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 only a pause i think to emphasize that the action's not being called off um, and it will continue and we will continue to support it i think all students should and if you could say like one thing to peter Matteson. What would you say? <laughs> um, oh, I mean, I think, you know, as, as I said to him via email, solidarity with the ECU, solidarity with the workers, I think would be the thing I'd say to him. That's great. Thank you for speaking to us. And good luck with the rest Thank of your you. day. Thank you. Peter Matheson has overseen some of the worst policies we've seen at Edinburgh University. Um, students have had lower quality education um, and housing. Uh, staff have seen worsened working conditions and the university has become even more like a business than a place of education. However, the Vice Chancellor and the University of Bureaucracy are but a symptom of a deeper problem within our society. International students pay in excess of £30,000 per year to study at this university. We are rightfully asking, where is all this money going? Is it spent on improving pay and working conditions for university staff? Certainly not. Just ask a tutor on a minimum hours contract. The university does not care in the slightest bit about student safety or about your humanity. It does not care if you're a trans student and we're told to the face that you're a subhuman being. That you are less than human and you, does, you do not exist and you should not exist. It does not care if you're from a racialized group and people beat you up outside the library when you study until late. And it does not care if you are sexually assaulted in the university space and you do not want to see the faces of the perpetrator while you continue your studies and your lives at the university. It does not care. And to Peter Matheson, as well as the entire senior administration at this university, that has called perpetrated this violent disinterest in our humanity, I say this, if you do not care or cannot care about your students' most fundamental requisite for studying at this university. Our personal safety, the confidence that we can continue to exist here as ourselves without having it smilingly taken away. 
without violently being stripped of our humanity. Now I do not think you should continue to have a job here. This is our university. And you're not welcome in this space, Peter Madison. It's been great to be here today and to hear what everyone has to say about the future of the Vice-Chancellor of the University. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.